How to create a colourful design like this in a fancy photo. Go to the Layer menu and New Layer. Then go to Edit and Fill. And set it to black. You can see the colour there is set to black. Click Apply. Now go to Filters and down to Lighting. With the panel here, you can change the setting direction. I always prefer to change the direction first so I can see the light. But then I can change the distance and also I can change the outer cone. You can modify those as well as the inner cone and you get this lovely arc. Also, you can change up here the specular setting. Maybe go for like 80, 81. So you get quite a nice bright light there. And I'm using spot. So it's a spotlight. Also, you can change the colour. So specular colour. I'm going to go with an orange colour. So I've got that. Click apply. Now I want to create another layer. So go to layer and new layer. And again, edit and fill. This time again with black. So custom colour there. Click apply. However, I want the blending mode and you can set that here in the layers panel. Just go to layers and then go down to difference. Now at the moment, see there's nothing there. With the layer selected, go over to filters and down to lighting again. And then change the specular setting. Just increase that maybe again to about 80%. And also go over here to the direction. And you can see as you do that, because of the difference, you can see the result. And also you can change the distance. So you can extend that. However, also I want to change this, the specular color. I don't want white. So I can click there and I can go for maybe green. And you've got now orange and you've got green there. And click apply. And of course, the colors, which ones you use, will change the gradient response. I'm going to create another one. Of course, you could create 20 or 30 layers. But I'm going to go with layer and again, new layer. And again, I want to fill it with black. So edit and fill. Just fill with black and click apply. And again, go over to the layers panel. And you can see there pixel layer has been selected. Just go here and again, go to difference. With the layer selected and the blending mode of difference, go over to filters and then down to lighting again. Again, you can change the various specular settings. You could change other settings as well. Put that to about 80%. You can also change the direction again. And again, you can see now because of the blending mode, you've got this lovely effect here. You can also change the distance. So you can push that out. You can also change the outer cone. You can vary it. All of them can be changed in many different ways. And again, in a cone, you don't have to do that, but it creates a nice arc over here. And once you're happy, click apply. And you've got your design there. Now, you could leave it like that, but you can also merge all of the layers. You just select them all like that, and then go to layer and just down to Merge Selected. So they all become one single layer. With the Merge layer selected, go to Filters and Colors and Auto Levels. Now, you may find some banding. This doesn't look like it's got any, but you may find that. You might prefer to use, say, Filter there and Blur and maybe Motion Blur just to add a little bit of blur into it. Also another option, of course, to recolor it. You can always go to layer and new adjustment layer and use any of these adjustments just to modify this colorful design. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Thank you very much.